Hello, beautiful souls and healing warriors. It is the new moon of June. I'm sure you all are feeling the shifts. There's a lot of energy rolling around. I say this often, but it is getting more and more intense and it's okay, right? The reason why it's okay is because we are so divinely protected. Mother Earth is going through all the shifts. We're not alone in this and that's for sure. Um, so if you are participating in my new moon event, which is um, clearing for, used to be only three days, now the moon's been extending it, plus a reading, you will be getting this first before everyone else, and you'll have your own reading to go with it. But the moon and um, the healing frequencies that I channel for these events are very adamant about the fact that it doesn't matter if it's a new moon or not when i make these um tonight's going to be shorter when i make these frequencies and these healings or when i make the meditations you can listen to it at any time us humans want to live in linear right but that's that's not what <laughs> the ethers and um everyone that's not human um lives in so it's really just about intention and allowing yourself to receive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off my camera so you're not watching me while I'm um, channeling the frequencies. But you will see my just my picture. Um, but allow yourself to get into a nice comfortable position. This is a short, quick uh, meditation to connect you with um, the frequency of the new moon. I'm just getting my music ready. <clears throat> all right beautiful people so just take a moment get comfortable and we will begin all right beautiful souls so this is the new moon of june a short frequency to bring forth that really potent cardinal water sign energy water is the symbolism of flow the symbolism of emotions and when we allow ourselves to be present and we allow ourselves to not get trapped by our emotions we can flow through our days easier and this summer is going to be different than other summers in the sense of intense energy shifts and stuff that are happening in the external environment. So it's important to use the flow of water and the spirit of water to bring calm energy, to bring cleansing energy into your body so you're not getting stuck in your feelings. Emotions are normal. We don't want to push them down or push past them. But we want to acknowledge them and observe them and see why they're happening so we can use them in a more empowering way rather than a judgmental and a disempowering control way. We want to use the sign of cancer, which is, you know, June, oh, July, sorry, July sign. But we want to use the sign of it to rise what I mean by that is using the emotions that come forth as the observer. Being the knight, being the queen, being the princess to these, to these emotions. And not being the, the one held captive, not being the servant to it, right? We need to empower ourselves through our emotions. This is the time to lead with our feelings in an empowering way. And yeah, so let's begin, shall we? So take some nice cleansing deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Remember that the longer and deeper your exhale is compared to your inhale, the more vagus break, so the more calm your nervous system begins to feel. So breathing in and slowly breathing out.
And we're going to call on your higher self, your Merkaba, your I Am Presence, and all parts of you on all timelines to just come down and into your space with you. And we call in the beautiful divine healing energy of this new moon. This new moon, which is going to be ushering new energy into our birth charts of every single one of us. We welcome you, divine healing energies of the new moon. Help us bring comfort, security, and emotional assurance so that we flow through the summer. So that we become the observer rather than the servant to our emotions. Allow yourself to drop into your space. Allow yourself to get deeper and deeper into your space. And imagine that in front of you is darkness beautiful calming darkness the void of darkness that is calm and imagine behind you is purple gas of cosmic light and this new moon energy is behind you shining down this purple gas light of the cosmos. <laughs> Letting all of your parts know that you're safe and you're ready to receive the energy of being the observer so that you may feel more comfort in your body. Allow yourself to either float or in your mind, step back gently and slowly into this light. Since it is the 28th day, we're gonna count from eight to one. When we're in one, you will be in this purple gas cosmo light with the moon shining above, allowing yourself to start floating or stepping back eight. Seven, six, five, becoming more immersed with this purple gas light of the cosmos, really allowing yourself to become immersed with this light of the cosmos, becoming one with this light of the cosmos. Coming one with the light of these cosmos. Four. Three. Two. One. Be one with this beautiful purple light. And ask the energy either out loud or to yourself. As the energy of the new moon to energetically shine down upon your physical vessel where your shadow self that has been holding your emotions this last month, where does it reside in your body? And notice Allow yourself to notice and feel where this energy hits your body. Remember, you're the observer. And then allow this energy 
that has been holding your emotions. Give it permission to step outside of yourself into that black void in front of you. Knowing that this is just an aspect of you, it cannot harm you. All it wants to do is love you. And take your time with this. It is hard for us to see our shadows because we've been taught that they are not good. But the moon is always in the sky. The moon is always visible. It's just a matter of allowing ourselves to see. The same with the clouds over the sun. It's just a matter of allowing yourself to see and trusting that what's there for you is pure. So once more, ask the healing light of the divine moon to allow its energy to shine down on your physical body, to bring forth the shadow aspect of you that's been holding on to your emotions the last month. And ask this part to step forward into the black void in front of you. And then reach out your hand or both, whatever feels more comfortable or you feel guided to do. And allow this beautiful shadow aspect of you to have this purple gas light of the cosmos shine upon it. Notice its age. Notice its energy and notice what it needs from you. Embrace this part of you, dear one. Embrace your shadow in this void by holding hands with you shining the purple gas light of the cosmos upon you and have a conversation observe what do you need from you what have you been holding back from you what have you been ignoring from you and then ask you Where does the vulnerability energy live within your physical body? And allow this place to become aware to you. And then ask yourself or the divine energies of the moon, where do your gut instincts lie within you? Is it in your gut? Is it in your legs, your shoulder, your head, your heart, your throat? Where does it reside? You are not like anyone else. You hold on to your emotions differently. Observe the answers from your shadow self Observe the answers from the purple cosmic light. Observe your answers from the divine healing energies of the moon. Observe the information and allow yourself to receive. Hui Kanaya. Hui Kanaya. Be the observer. Be the observer the observer. And know that you are loved. And you can replay this as many times as you want. 
to get the answer to your questions, to feel the vibrations of the divine healing energies of the new moon, and pay attention to where your trust instincts lie within you, where your vulnerability lies, and where does that shadow lie within you? Where are you doing a disservice to yourself? And when you have these answers, write them down. Put them out on your windowsill or put a bowl of water over them and ask the healing energies of the sign of cancer, which is the symbolism of the crab to come forth and support you in trusting your instincts, to support you in being the observer, to support you to not become engulfed by the flow of your emotions, but rather become a wave of them for abundance, healing, and growth. You are loved. I love you. Amen. Aho. So it is. And happy new moon, young one.